Salak and welcome back to the second segment of BFA's On The Ball Show and um, as promised we do have someone, one person has made it, we're still waiting for uh, another one so let me introduce you to uh, Jamal Bai, our BFA General Secretary and also the Chairman for East One Football Club, Jamal Bai, Salak and we made it. Walaikum well, Salam, just about, yes, a yeah. uh, little bit traffic outside tonight. Just a bit, reason. just a bit. Yeah. I think it might be the rain, it started off beautiful and all of a sudden it's been torrential. Oh, I don't know what's happened but um, yes, sunny weather and suddenly uh, torrential rain again. Typical but, uh, eh, yeah, it's typical. Anyway, listen, I'm going to come straight to you. Uh, lots has been going on, lots to talk about. Uh, me and Arasbay have been having a chat about what's going on, all things BFA. But uh, you are the man in the know as to, well, Arasbay has been away. What's been, we've, we've arranged a couple of other tournaments. We've talked about the Vets League. Yeah. But again, just to clarify... Uh, for those that may be watching, what's the situation with the BFA Vets League in terms of numbers and the rulings and what we're doing? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we have potentially six teams at the present moment. Um, we're looking for eight, but even if we don't get eight, we will be continuing with the with the six teams. Um, it will start on the plan is for the second week of May, so we're looking at eighth of May mm -hmm. um, at Stepney Green Park. Um, it's normally 11 side rules um, in terms of uh, play, but um, it'll be primarily using our BFA Summer League rules, okay. um, where we in incorporate the four non-Bengali rules. So that'll be um, incorporated in the um, Vets League as well. But because of the uh, the age group, we are looking at using a roll-on, roll-off system mm -hmm. uh, as well. But um, we've got the six teams, so hopefully that should. Um, you know, give us a start to start the league sort of thing. So we're looking forward to that, inshallah. Okay, good stuff. Uh, what else is going on? We've got the, with the Summer League literally weeks away now, we usually have a, over the last couple of seasons, we've been doing a pre, kind of pre-tournament. Yeah, we, ha we have a pre-Summer League tournament uh, every year. So this year, it's, uh, we've uh, anticipated to start on the 24th, 24th of April, um, which is a Sunday at Wanstead Flats. Um, it's, the, it's the UK Bangla, Cup, uh, sorry, it's the Bangla Cup uh, 11 side uh, tournament. Uh, we've got, we're looking at uh, 8 to 10 teams, um, but um, if there's 16 teams, we can do a 16 team format. But we're 8 teams would be would, would be good enough for us uh, to, we've all actually, we've already got 9, 10 teams anyway <laughs> um, okay. entered. So, um, yeah. So um, it's not going to be an 8 team tournament? No, it's not going to be 8 team <laughs> tournament. Uh, no, of course not. Um, so if there's uh, 10, we're looking at 12. If there's 16, then we're yeah, looking at 16. It's just a curtain yeah, raiser. Yeah. To I mean, there's plenty of time for teams to um, to enter. Mm -hmm. um, it will be, again, the uh, the Summer League rules because um, it's a pre Summer League tournament. It's the Bangla Cup. The Bangla Cup was primarily a similar side tournament that we've done previously, very successful. So we're doing this uh, eliminate side now, uh, inshallah. Um, so any teams who wish to uh, enter, then please contact me um, via email or through the website or, or, or for through my phone. Excellent. Okay. Uh, again, it's, it is the summer league rule, so you've got four non Bengalis allowed. That's correct. And yeah. uh, you're also contemplating on the same day playing with the idea of maybe doing a Vets league as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, as you know, the Vets uh, league uh, tournaments are very popular. Um, mm. We uh, recently done, I think last week, uh, a Vets tournament, uh, which uh, everyone at Gazi, I'm sure, has mentioned. Uh, I won. <laughs> yeah. I won. Yeah, the fun was that Marlin Stadium was great yeah. uh, between uh, Barnardo's FC and. and Silid FC, uh, my team, these two are old stars, just about missed uh -huh. out. Um, but um, yeah, so there seems to be quite a uh, thing for demand for that. Why so is that, Jamal? I, I was just saying to Embo, I mean, at our age, we should be slowing down, not playing more football. No, I know. I, our age group is such a passionate lot. Um, every tournament that we've done for the vets, it's just been, you know, a uh, great atmosphere, everyone's up for it. I don't know, as, as you grow older, I think the hunger for it is even more so because knowing the fact that oh, it's coming to come to an end soon enough, All right, okay. uh, that's probably why, and it's still in our blood that we want to go out there and, and, and do our best. But it's uh, not a bad thing. It's as, we no. as we get old, get older, we want to keep no, fit. Look, I think it's that's it. Excuse, it's, uh, it? it's, uh, you know, the fitness is one thing, obviously, um, keeps us healthy. And secondly, it's more of a social thing as well. Yeah. Um, you know, it gives an opportunity for everybody to just to get together, have a good laugh, and, yeah, yeah. you know, to be able to, you know, compete against your own age group. It mm. just makes it that extra bit, uh, you know, uh, passionate for people. Uh, so, yes, uh, we're looking at uh, the, the uh, Bangla Vets as well uh, on that Sunday. So if there's teams out there who want to enter, please contact myself or NM, um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put that in, inshallah. Brilliant. I think we've got four teams already interested, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, uh, I'm sure there'll be... Uh, 
and more teams that want to uh, want to enter. That's what that's why I say sometimes. Don't worry about the numbers. Just <laughs> yeah, just do if it. If you want to do something, just do it. Even if it's four teams, well, five teams. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, look, you know, we provide a platform for everybody just to come and you know enjoy themselves and you know play a game of football. So Excellent. that's the uh, that's the thing. Okay, I guess let's time. It's time to move on and talk about uh, what everybody. I guess there's a few teams, all the teams outside uh, are waiting uh, outside of London. Uh, the UK Bangladesh Championships is uh, we we kind of relaunched it again this year. Uh, it's um, well, I'm guessing I'm going to leave it to Arasbai to tell tell us some history and where where it all started and and why it started and what the plans are for this well year. Well, I think in a nutshell, it was to kind of unite the the Bengali community, as you know. BFA is a UK-wide uh, organization and we felt that we needed to make contact with our brothers from the various part of UK and the whole idea behind the, the, the BFA UK Bangladesh Championship which we started in 2002 if my memory serves me right what was in a nutshell to unite the community uh, under the banner of um, you know as a community uh, and obviously BFA uh, were the leading organization or we, we kind of founded the uh, uh, competition from the inception. So it was hugely successful. We had various teams from various parts of the UK. And as I said, we did it for many years. But unfortunately, for a couple of years, due to the rapid uh, expansion of our other activities, because as you know, BFA, we've got probably about 12 to 13 activities or projects. So we, we didn't have the kind of manpower to run it. And so, but we, we, we gave it a break and we said we'll re restart it when we are, uh, um, we've got the manpower and that's what we're doing now, mm. is refocusing. And obviously, I'll be honest with you, with the UM rule making more contacts from the northern parts of UK because of your background and contacts, we, we've managed to kind of bring more brothers and organizations such as uh, the Bengal Dragons and, and uh, um, Bangla Bantams and Humayun, etc. So th that is why we've kind of re-energized ourselves to do this tournament. We feel it's uh, a fantastic tournament which we've carried out successfully and it's uh, uh, an idea which BFA uh, it came from BFA, it's originated from BFA, mm -hmm. um, regardless what <laughs> others might say. So uh, we just carry on doing our activities and uh, as I say, it's fantastic to see all the brothers, especially from various parts of the world, I uh, mean the world, yeah. I mean the UK, <laughs> um, coming through. So uh, yeah, really enjoyed um, uh, our brothers from Cardiff last week uh, and also, you know, when Humayun comes from Bradford. So that that's for me, it's not the football, it's uh, meeting all the people, various people from v various backgrounds, you know, networking uh, and kind of um, learning from them as well. Okay. Uh, Jamal Bay, obviously this year is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, a, uh, it's been like I just said, it's an opportunity to meet new faces, new people. Um, obviously you've been instrumental in organizing and getting in touch with a lot of the teams. Uh, we have 12 teams for this That's year, correct, for those yeah. that aren't aware. We're going to have three teams from the BFA, uh, that BFA have uh, allocated from the, from the London area, and then we've got nine teams from outside. Uh, so over to you, I guess, Arasba, in, uh, Jamal Bay, in terms of the numbers and who these people, who the other teams are, uh, that we've got representing from around the UK. Yeah, I mean, as you said, uh, uh, we selected three teams from uh, BFA-led competitions. Mm -hmm. um, we have a criteria that uh, the London teams have to be uh, winners um, of a particular uh, uh, league. So from the Summer League, we have a uh, uh, Pondazen representing uh, as premiership winners of BFA Summer League. So there'll be rep one representing from London. Newark, who won the Shunali Bank Cup. Okay. Um, which is our Summer League Cup. Summer League Cup, that's okay. correct, yeah. So they're so the two main winners of two our two main, main winners, competitions. Yeah. Uh, and so Youth this year, um, because uh, uh, we went down the pecking order and they qualified as uh, runners-up runners up the up. Uh, first uh, division. So they're the three teams representing uh, the London teams. Um, then we've got the nine others, that which are Camberley Town, um, yep. President Camberley uh, slash mm. Reading. Yep. Um, Leeds, Leeds One Formation, um, from Leeds, obviously. Uh, Rochdale, who are Baka, I think. Bassa. Yeah. Yeah. Bassa. Um, we have uh, the Bengal Dragons, as we know, from Cardiff, Swansea. Um, we have uh, 
Bangla Bantams yeah. uh, representing Bradford. Um, we have uh, a team from Middlesex, or, uh, London Tigers representing Mid Middlesex. Um, who have I also missed? Um, FC Birmingham, of course. Um, and we have uh, uh, Sheffield Bengal Tigers uh, mm -hmm. representing Sheffield and Cambridge Tigers representing Cambridge. Okay, so um, uh, so it's a good mix. Uh, and I think mix, that's the yeah. key, isn't it? And I think it's going to be, it'll be interesting on the day to see the, the the differences in ability levels and yeah. I guess the, around the UK because one of the big things I notice since I've been to London is and the differences between uh, the Bangladeshi town up and down the country is in London 11 aside is a lot more popular than it is outside mm. of London it's a smaller sided format of the game and for those that are watching you'll see the poster on the screen which shows all the pictures of all the teams that we've got on there uh, and once again just to give you an idea that, uh, for those that are watching the teams involved 12 teams Ponders and Ponders and from London Seoul U from London Newark from New from uh, London and then we've got Bangla Bantams from Bradford Sheffield Bengal Tigers Leeds one formation Bassa from Rochdale uh, we've got Camberley FC from Surrey Cambridge Tigers Bengal Dragons London Tigers and we have FC Birmingham so we've got a nice mix there as by end yeah um, what are you looking forward to most and uh, are you expecting a difference in, in the footballing abilities? Well, that is it. I mean, we haven't done it for a couple of years, and hopefully this tournament will be a benchmark of our the, the, the kind of skill level of our Bengali community. And it, for me, it'd be interesting to see how the different parts of the country uh, fare against the London teams and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So I'm really keen that hopefully teams who come over will have a lot of youngsters because mm -hmm. uh, as you know they're the future uh, and I would like to see a lot of young players potentially that's quite will be interesting for me uh, to see a lot of uh, exciting young players from various part of the uh, UK okay uh, but in terms of the uh, football what is I know we've talked about it in, in other shows but yeah. your experience with regards to the skill set that you require playing in the smaller format of the game five aside seven aside which tends to be more popular up north and the 11 aside game is played predominantly on grass yeah what is the difference I mean the difference obviously y you have to be more organized 11 aside and be more patient because in 11 aside you might not touch the ball for five mm. minutes you might be a lone striker or a winger uh, and you might not see the ball for five minutes mm. you might not get the same touches whereas it obviously seven aside five aside you constantly uh, uh, you know, get in touch of the ball, so you, you tend to be more skillful. Mm -hmm. uh, you probably will dribble more, whereas the 11 aside game is more direct uh, and it's differently, uh, different skill set, definitely. Okay. Uh, Jamabai, from your perspective, one of the, one, I'll get a lot of the questions I've been asked over the last weeks leading up to this tournament on Sunday. The facilities, teams are coming from outside. Uh, what time, just give everybody a bit of an idea in terms of the logistics on the day, the timings, uh, in terms of the facilities that we have available, changing rooms and pitches. Uh, what can the guys, the guys coming from outside of London expect to see when they arrive at one step and what time do you want them there? More yeah, I mean, everything's available uh, uh, for them in terms of usage of the changing rooms, the car park facilities and, and so forth. Um, we're looking at starting the competition, the actual kickoff from 11 o'clock, but we're hoping to ask all the teams, uh, obviously we understand a lot of teams coming from afar, um, but we're looking at 10 o'clock registration uh, for everybody. We have a little talk, um, you know, um, inform about the rules and so forth and, you know, uh, give the opportunities for everybody else to say a few things as well. Um, and from there we'll you know, going to the uh, group stages. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're looking at an 11 o'clock kickoff. Um, where it's 20 minutes uh, games, I think. Uh, the, group, uh, the group games will be 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Sorry, so just yeah. to clarify for those that are watching, and uh, we'll, we'll again, we'll repeat this when we do the draw. Uh, 12 teams we've got in the format. There's going to be four groups of three. Um, we're going to the group games will be straight 30 minutes. And then obviously at the end of the group games, the top two from each group would autom will automatically go through to the quarterfinals. And then we will choose the, 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 the two best third place teams will also go through. So that way we've got eight teams that are going to go through the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals are going to be 20 minutes each way uh, and followed by the semifinals, obviously. And then you've got uh, 30 minutes each way for the semifinals and the final as 
those that are taking part will know is being held this year uh, with our partners up in Bradford, uh, as was already mentioned, Bangla Bantam, Shapla FC and Humayun and Shido up there doing brilliant work. They've managed to secure Bradford City Stadium which, by which the parade. Which is fantastic, Imola. And again, once again, to Humayun, uh, 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 thank you very much. I think it's fantastic for us to you know, get a professional club such as Bradford and mm. to play the final is wonderful. So thank you very much to everyone at Bradford and Bangla Bantam. Brilliant. And uh, all the best to Bradford City. You're currently nearly in that playoff spot. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they get it. And there could be a championship team next year, deservedly so as well. It's a stadium that can they easily fill 16,000 uh, with a capacity of 22. And that's for a first division club, one of the best supported clubs in the yeah. UK. Mm. So we look forward to the final on the 22nd of May. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's more or less the format. Um, just to clarify again on the day in terms of substitutions, will it be rolling? Won't it be rolling? That's another question I've been getting. I don't think it is. Is it? Uh, no, I think um, it will be normally. No, no, I think it's a normal. I, th I think with obviously with the details, it's already uh, been sent out. W w w it's, it's been sent out. Yeah. So uh, from uh, what I could, from what I can gather, guys, uh, for those that have asked me the question, it looks like a maximum of four substitutions on the day during the game. Uh, but once, they've, once you've made the substitution, so it's not a rolling, um, so it was me. For those, what I've been saying, maybe it's rolling, it's not. Um, I've mixed it up with our vets league rules. So there's it's a straight substitution, one goes off, one comes off, and that's it for the rest of the game. In the final, there will be an opportunity for you to play five substitutes. Obviously, the format is slightly different. It's going to be a 90-minute game. Uh, if it's a draw at the end of 90 minutes, time permitting, there could be extra time. We'll decide that on the day. If not, it's straight to penalties. So again, check your rules out. Jamal Bay has very kindly emailed you all, everything. For those of you that haven't responded back to the emails, we need a list of your players. Um, and also, if you haven't sent any uh, a history, most of the clubs are. We thank you. We appreciate your time because um, we're going to be doing the uh, program that you will all get on the day. Okay, so listen, we're nearly out of time for this segment. Before we move on, again, um, Aras Bay and Jamal Bay for, I guess I'll start with Jamal Bay, with, with regards to what the guys can expect from the quality and the ability of footballers from coming from the London side, uh, Ponders End, Seoul Youth, Newark. They're all champions in their own right. That's right uh, yeah. And like I said, I'm pretty confident that the ability that these teams are going to bring to the pitch on the days will be of a very good standard. Um, of the three, Jamal Bay, which stands out to you and why? I think Ponders End only because of you know them being league winners of the Premiership. Uh, they've been a very successful team uh, 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 in the past. My heart says Newark because you know obviously mm -hmm. uh, some affiliation to Newark. Um, but I think Ponder Zen will have the edge over the other London teams uh, in terms of the squad that they have mm -hmm. and in terms of the players that uh, Abul has. Um, Newark, as you know, very young players. I'm sure they'll get a few experienced uh, f uh, players there, but they're known for a young side, very good footballing side. Um, Seoul Youth, you know, have been a revelation uh, in in the summer league. So there'll be might be a surprise there as well in mm. terms of the footballing standards. Um, all three teams high level, but I think Ponders End will be uh, so. the you know I think by touch a little better side than than, than the other two. Okay. Um, but you can never tell with football uh, yeah. at the end of the day. Brilliant. Okay, guys, we're out of time. When we come back, we will be doing the draw for the Bangladeshi UK Championship that is going to take place next Sunday at Wanstead. Uh, for guys, I know I'll keep you hanging on, but that's the idea, isn't it? Keep watching. Uh, we're back in two minutes. Sorry.